Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Hearthstone. Today we're going to be continuing to check out the Journey to Ungaro expansion, this time with another match of our updated Pirate Warrior deck. Let's go ahead and jump in and see how we do. Goodness gracious, another druid. Lots of druids out lately. That's okay. We do decently against them as long as it's not token. Um, we do okay against token druid. I will... I'm going to keep the upgrade. I don't need it strictly here, but it doesn't really hurt anything. If anything, it can... Ooh. What a weird hand. Nazoth is actually... His weapon's not going to be super good here. Well, at least we can <laughs> take that out for free. We'll first mate here. We'll bop is 1-1. One, one. Hit him for one. Uh, he probably has a Galaka Crawler, though. I just have this feeling. If not, though, uh, next turn, I guess I would Fiery Upgrade over just Blood Sail, right? Which is a shame, because I'd rather get some more minions on the board. Um, no, we got a Fiery Upgrade with this combo. So let's hit him, hit him, then Fiery. And... We can hold on to the coin since upgrade's only one mana. There's no need to use it this turn, strictly. I hate to throw away durability on even our free 1-1 one, one weapon, but... Uh, see, that now it was worth it, because we can bop that thing right off the bat. Um, let's go ahead and upgrade Bloodsail Corsair, Dread Corsair, take this out, and hit him for another one. He can have the one card. Let's hope it wasn't a swipe. That would be super, super distressing. But we do have a pretty good setup here at the moment. Next turn we can hit him for 10, 14 or something. Oh man, buddy. That was not the time to Jade Blossom. He's going hard for that Jade Idol, but I don't think that aggression's going to pay off. Elite, oh my god. This poor guy. Or actually, though, I feel like I should almost go for the Corsair. Let's see. 15 damage versus 19 damage. Either way, we don't have lethal. Let's go with the Naga Corsair while it's getting its full value. Nice. And uh, then next turn, we can Corcron Elite, and that should finish. That should pretty much finish him off, even if he clears out most of our larger minions. Really? Okay, guy, you're going to want to use your hero power, right? Oh, he's going to naturalize. Okay. That's pretty good. It's not enough, but it's pretty good. Now, is he going to gain a bunch of armor here is the real question. Yep, Earthen Scales. I had a feeling he was going to pull an Earthen Scales combo. Oh, my patches! Five, nine. We only have... 9 plus 4, 13 damage this turn. We could draw another Corcoran Elite, though. We do have some stuff going on that's pretty funny. And we have a Spellbreaker, which I should probably use over the Corcoran Elite, huh? Um. Yeah, probably. Your magic shall not then we can play a free Dread Corsair. Hit him for 10. And then next turn we have another Fiery War Axe and uh, Corcoran Elite we can play for a 7 damage hit. So unless he's got another... Uh... I don't know why he did that. He does realize that I silenced it, right? I guess he's just hoping for a Hail Mary draw. Ah! Doing another Earth and Scales combo. Gotcha. That's okay, that's okay. So we got 9. We have, we have lethal for sure. Uh, Corcoran Elite, Fiery War Axe, Coin, Upgrade, Hit, 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 GG. Oh, we didn't even need the Corcoran Elite. Nice! So Pirate Warrior continues to just dominate. God, gotta love it. Um, <laughs> it's just a lot of fun. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below so that I know. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.